guys. Max Convexity. Hope everyone's having a great day. This is going to be a five-minute option lesson with Max. All right. It's kind of a follow-up on my video from yesterday also, if you guys saw that video. It was on T-Jewel. And what T-Jewel was is it's a fund that's figured out how to make it where you can't lose money. They've broken the law of the universe with risk and reward. You can still make money, but you can't lose money. And there are catches and stuff to it, but it's a really interesting fund. I liked it, and it, it's not perfect, but it has a place. Um, it, to me, it has a place in a lot of it, – it could have a place potentially in a lot of portfolios. And I gave a use case that was kind of ridiculous. It was it was if somebody was, um, you know, had made $5 million trading Dogecoin or something. I thought of – you know, it has a lot – there's a lot more real-world examples, too. Let's say somebody's in the military – and they bought a they bought a house kind of at the different uh, bases they've been scheduled. You know they've been put they they bought a house at each uh, by base they've been stationed at over time. And so they've they've got now they have three houses as they've gone from base to base to base in their twenty five year military career. They aren't rich people, but they're they're you know they're a master sergeant, you know, in the military. Well, um, their last house is going to be paid off in two years, and uh, they just got to get there without the market crashing, okay? Because of because of the because of the obligation of trying to pay that house off, but and also what it means if you can get there and have a house paid off free and clear, you know. So so for someone like that, they may be more of a like a a, a middle class or an upper upper middle class use of. Uh, T, uh, T-J-U-L. It's not just for rich folks. Okay. Another thing I thought of is, um, another thing I thought of, and it's a lot more down to earth case, and it's not for the fund itself, but it's for the strategy the fund uses. That strategy they use is called a caller. And, you know, uh, it's kind of a complicated, exotic option strategy, but it's not that complicated. It's not that exotic. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you guys how to do it, and it could even help you in your personal trading sometime. Let's just say that you had a thousand shares of Tesla, okay? And uh, let's say that you were not uh, not feeling that good about this afternoon's uh, announcement. They're getting ready to announce earnings in like fifteen or twenty minutes. You could use a tree. You could do use options to make it where you can basically sit out the earnings announcement. It doesn't where it doesn't affect you. Okay, let's go to the option lab and let's let's see what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. So, um, let's do this. I'm going to show you guys. Let's start with a cover call. Everyone here knows what a cover call is. Let's just start with the Tesla cover call, just for conceptualization purposes. Okay, a covered call is a stock plus a short call. It capture upside, we all know, and it, and it looks about like the profit loss graph looks like this, right? Still have all the loss on the downside. You can still lose as much as just having the stock. So that's all the way down to zero. Stocks are risky, right? You know, look at Enron. Um, or, you know, look at lots of them that have gone belly up. Okay, oh, the only difference between a covered call and a caller is a covered call, you're taking the profit from the short call to buy a put. So check this out. You just go add, buy put. Now in real life, you probably enter it in your brokerage thing as a caller, your brokerage. But anyway, it, but this is how it's constructed. It's stock plus a short call out of the money typically, and then a long put typically at the money. If you put it right at the money, you basically can't lose any money, right? I mean, the theory of the trade is this call here to cost, okay, well, first of all, let's switch the dates to, let's just try to get past earnings. Let's say you love Tesla and you convince it's going to a million, but you just do not want to, you do not want to sweat out this earnings announcement. You think it may be nothing, but you just don't want to take a risk on it. Well, you could put a caller on that expires Friday. And then if they, no matter what happened between now and Friday, the most you could make is 1800 and the most you could lose, the most more you could make in addition to what you've already made on Tesla, the, but the most you could lose from where you're at now is $614. Let's see how this works. So this call, that's not, we're going to put on a call that's, 
that's let's see let's try the 155 let's just try find one that's ridiculously expensive because remember right in front of earnings volatility has been this one's going for three bucks okay and it's like 20 points out of the money so then we're going to find a put that's going for around three bucks Three eighty-five, three hundred five. Okay, we could do this one. We could sell this one for three eighty, the one fifty-two and a half call for Friday, and buy the one thirty-eight put. And then basically, we put ourselves in this position. No matter what happens on Tesla earnings, if they're the greatest earnings ever, our position will grow by seven hundred and twenty-two bucks. Uh, or we could also lose about 700 bucks. We put it where we've capped our upside. Now let's say, uh, and, and we've capped our downside. The call pays for the put and it didn't cost us any money to put this trade on. Didn't cost us any money out of pocket. Let's say we're, let's say we're worried about Tesla for the next six months though. So let's go out till August. We could do the same thing. The price has changed, but it's generally the same. Yeah, now look. We could sell the, the this call for 16 bucks and buy that put for 13 bucks. So we could do this for a $3 credit. So we could put $3 in our pocket right now. And between now and August 16th, no matter what happens to Tesla, the most we could, the most it would affect us, the most our portfolio would grow, including the options is 700 bucks. Most we'd lose is 200. We could even go out, you know, all year or something like that. This is one where you actually you actually can't lose. You could buy Tesla, buy 100 shares of Tesla, sell the 150 call for 26.20, buy the 140 put for $20, and you actually, between now and the end of the year, you can't lose. You're either going to make $1,000 on the trade or you're going to lose $32. Now, of course, it's just 100 shares of Tesla. It's not that big of a deal. Let's go back here to this one. But the thing is, you know, it, the thing is, wonder if you have a thousand shares of Tesla or something where it, like if this earnings take, makes the stock take a dump, it could make your whole account get a margin call because a thousand shares of Tesla is a lot. Or let's say you have 10,000 shares of Tesla. Let's say you work at the company and it's not that you don't like the company, but you don't want a gosh darn, uh, you don't want a gosh darn uh, margin call, right? All right. We'll get out there here before earnings. You still got a few more minutes. And uh, sell the 152 and a half for 370. Oh, okay. And buy the 140. Uh, hang on. We we need to add a thousand shares of stock. This this payoff graph isn't right. Oh gosh. You can't you can't take me anywhere. Okay. So it's still gonna look like that. So they if you do, if you get a thousand shares of stock between now and earnings, the most you're gonna make is six five hundred dollars. Most you're going to lose is $5,900. Now, this expires, you know, then on Monday, if the stock is still way down, which it will be, you're still way up, then this, this protection wears off. So you may want to go out a month or, you know, or a little bit further. But the good thing about the call paying for the put is it doesn't usually cost any more money to go out further because the, the call is more expensive, but it pays for the put that's more expensive. So anyway, you just choose where you don't, you can choose a point in history that you don't want to be involved with the stock anymore. You can put a collar on it and you can basically take yourself, take your stock out of the equation for the time until the collar expires. All right, guys, I hope that was clear somewhat. If it wasn't, leave me questions in the comments. Now, I'm not recommending doing this for Tesla earnings, but it's something I might do for Tesla earnings, especially if I had a lot of Tesla and I was about to get a margin call. I would do this all day long, especially if I'm about to get a margin call. Let's say I'm, I don't have that much money in my account. I don't have that much cash. Well, I would make sure the call paid for the put. You can make the word. It doesn't cost you anything to put this on. It's free insurance. Right. All right, guys. So leave me questions if you have them. Thank you so much for watching my video. Trying to make them shorter. And more to the point. You guys have a great day.